Yep. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jordan, uh, better known as Tim And this is. Hi, I'm John. Uh, and, well, I don't know. Like, I'm John. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, we're here to talk about uh, any assembly developments. Um, I'm going to talk about, uh, first off, about how I got into it, about how some, some of the games I did, and uh, most notably the Battle Kid Fortress of Feral. Then John's going to show off uh, some of his game, and, as well as another person's upcoming game. And then we'll talk about the sequel Battle Kid 2. So uh, I first got into it around 2007. Uh, I was going back to college, and I took a class of assembly programming. And coincidentally enough, that was beneficial in doing this. So uh, I was inspired to do it because another person, he did a game, his own homebrew game, and when I saw that, I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Someone did their own homebrew game. So uh, what he did was a game called Sudoku 2007, and I'm going to just briefly show that here. I've got to do this while looking up here. Games. And um, it's, this is some demo, but I think the final game more or less looks the same. You know, it's Sudoku, you just fill in the numbers, and I'm, I'm not going to solve this or anything. And uh, that's pretty much it. And it was a simple game, but uh, it inspired me to try out my programming myself. So I first uh, got a tutorial from Bunny Boy, and I did a very simple program for the very first one. It's not really a game. But it's a health testing program. And it's playing through sounds. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can't see it too well, but it's a program where you have backgrounds, you got sprites, you got palettes, obviously, and these are all the main things you need to do in an actual game. So once I got this done, I then did, did an actual game, which was quite difficult. First, but I'll show that here. Actually, I'm going to show what's actually being for sale on the site, the two-in-one oh, yeah, card. Yeah. So the first game here is called Gemini. It's a puzzle game based off a logic game called NIM. And uh, in 2008, as you can see, it was March 2008 when I actually finished it. It probably took about three months to do this, and only because I was learning, and it was very, very difficult at first. So the object of the game, let's start here, is you're dealt colored gems. You decide who goes first or second. And what you do is you just pick a color, pick a quantity from the color, and whoever takes the last one wins. Okay, so I just won that one. I'll do one more. conceptually to do, but just the general programming was quite difficult because it was assembly programming and I was new to it. So we're going to reset this because um, there's not really much to show. Basically the game goes on for 20 rounds, it adds more quantities of gems, and uh, after it records it shows you a little status summary of what you, how well you did. So I'm going to pick the second game, which is a clone of Simon called Simon. And uh, some, some people may have actually seen this on YouTube. I posted a video. Use the D-pad to uh, correspond to the color that flashes. And it just continues on. It stops after 50, but I don't think so many people will get up, ever get up to 50. And, yeah. and if you run out of time, it flat um, errors on you. But again, it's a simple game, but I stuck with simple. Because you want to, because uh, you know I'm still learning it, and you don't want to tackle a hard game and then get frustrated with it. So uh, this one took about, I would say, two months. It was released in uh, May, and then I did the two-in-one compilation in July of uh, 08. So then the third game, where I decided to get a little more advanced, is a. Uh, <coughs> yeah, this is current. Yeah, it's a clone of Columns which is called Mystic Pillars. And this is a collector's edition, but that doesn't matter. 
and uh, it's more complicated than the previous games I did, but still a fairly simple game. Not even rotating the pieces. This one probably took about three months, but I was also more well versed in programming, so it wasn't anywhere near as uh, difficult as the first games. So, and then that then prompted me. Um, sorry, me sorry. This was released in uh, November of 08, though prior to that, I um, did start work on Battlefield. So we're gonna, what I want to show here is the. Uh, started work on this in uh, September, or no, October, all the way. So, uh, sorry, this is stupid. I've got about some, I don't know, 20, 30 files here. So this is the very first, uh, <laughs> what the game looked like. Uh, there's like no animation on them, the jumping is very quirky, you'd have to play it to actually know. And uh, the spikes don't even kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and to switch rooms, you have to press the B button. He doesn't, yeah, you can see he's up top there. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, you know, simple, but it worked. So then that prompted me to then go uh, to do the items next. Let me, uh, I think this is the one. I'll try this one. Yeah, you can see I got the double jump and feather. So I went and did the uh, items afterwards, and you can see he's animated, but it still looks kind of jerky, but, you know, you got your double jump. Uh, sorry, I gotta do this. <laughs> so he's in the keyboard. And you got your feather, which works. And these are the transition rooms you see in the game. So I did items next. And yeah, this is one of the early drafts of the waterfall area, which is also in the game. It's the fourth area, fourth boss. Um, after that, I then went to do items, um, or not items, enemies. <laughs> Where is it? I think this is it. Yeah, you can see it's a ball that has some uh, temporary sound effects in place there. And um, jump up here. And instead of actually uh, killing you, it just plays a little buzzer sound because I was still I was having difficulties with getting the hit detection to actually work. So once I got this going, then I knew that I was pretty good to go. So we'll uh, skip ahead one more here. It's January. I think this is it. January low nine. Yeah. So this is pretty much, uh, oh yeah, this is an early draft of the beginning of the game. But this is what the, you know, final game. Um, it's, it's got the old graphics on it, but it's more or less the final uh, final design of what the first area was going to be. You got you know, these enemies here, and he's green. So uh, pretty much from that, it was just a process of adding content to the game. And um, it took about eight months or so, ten, nine months. I was uh, more or less done content-wise in October, and I uh, got the label drawn up around December, and the cartridge was released in February. And some of you who attended the previous MapFest may have remembered the demo version that I had here on a uh, clear part. <coughs> so that was pretty much the general process of doing the game. Um, and I'm going to uh, stop for a moment and uh, turn it over to John here. He's going to show off some of his games. Then I'm going to talk about the, uh, or show off the sequel to uh, Battlefield 2. So, it's okay. Sorry. Let me uh, close this. Yeah. 